Oh, hey guys. Just playing a little video game here. Uh, Maya and I are going out and I want to talk a little bit about how living in the Philippines is like going back in time. What do I mean by that? Stick around. Alright guys, so we're at this uh, cafe. It's called uh, Piapi. Piapi Deli. Piapi Deli. <clears throat> Uh, I'll show you what we ordered when we order, but if you want to see this place and uh, some of the other places uh, we're going to today, you can check out Maya's vlog, Maya's Philippines Life. Uh, but back to uh, what I was saying initially is like, when you come to the Philippines, it's almost like stepping back in time. <laughs> when I stepped off the airplane here in the Philippines, uh, it was like I had fell asleep on the plane and woke up and I was back in high school in the 1980s again. <laughs> Um, and Maya likes the 80s music too, but the Filipinos love to, they love the older music, you know, the Chicago, the Journey, the Michael Jackson, Madonna, the, you know, all of this stuff. And uh, so I was kind of like a, a happy camper, you know, it was like reliving my youth again with the music and, and, and things like uh, kids riding around their bike, you know, without uh, uh, mom and dad putting knee pads and elbow pads and helmets on them and, and, and again I'm not saying that uh, these things are bad to, to protect your kid from falling but you know I remember as a kid uh, you know a neighbor would have a pickup truck and you would be uh, in the back of the pickup truck with your friends riding down the road and this stuff was just normal and acceptable and and in the Philippines it's it's still normal it's like uh, I really have come back to my childhood all of a sudden I'm <laughs> you know with the Philippines, and again, I, I'm not condoning saying it's a, a good idea. It's uh, obviously seat belts are for a reason, you know, and kids jumping up and down on the back of, a, of the bed of a pickup is maybe not always the best idea. But here, it does seem to be a little more freeing, where people can really live their life the way they choose. Um, other things that I've noticed is uh, in just relationships. Uh, relationships. Um, you can live on a one salary here and take care of your family. You know, when I was a, a kid, you know, mom stayed at home and took care of the kids, and dad would go off to work in the morning, come back in the evening, and uh, one salary was enough to take care of a household, uh, one car, and you know the uh, the family and you look now and the families are everybody's working mom dad even the kids when they become teenagers and the Philippines though you can still come out here and if you want a traditional wife that stays at home if, if that's what she wants and you want your kids to be taken care of by their mom that can still happen here and you just can't have that type of life anymore in the West. It's just not uh, financially possible. But here in the Philippines, it is. It, it, it is. We can go out and eat at places like this, which I'm excited for. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's a little, it, I wouldn't say it's expensive, um, but it's not cheap as far as Filipino yeah. standards go. But it looks really nice. Again, Maya's. Uh, channel is going to sh show what we're eating and everything and um, we had funny we ha had decided we were like okay we're gonna go check out these two coffee shops today one was closed on Sundays today being Sunday the other one's got a private event going on but the waitress said oh you can check out the deli at the hotel it's owned by the same place I was like oh okay we walked in and it's looks pretty impressive so we're excited to eat, but uh, I'll carry this video on uh, a little bit later after we get our food here, I think. But yeah, I mean, really, the Philippines, it's, you, you will be transported back in time. You really will. When you come here, you're going to think, wow, it's like I'm in the 1980s, 90s again, you know, with music and uh, the way they live their life and family values and, and everything, you know. Um, and that part of the Philippines is really an amazing thing for me and I think for a lot of others too. 
Uh, the other thing I was going to mention about stepping back in time is is this woke nonsense. It, it's just not here in the Philippines. And uh, I hope it stays out of the Philippines forever. But um, it takes me back in time when things were just normal. You didn't have people going off over just nonsense. Um, this woke us, you know. Thank God I'm not in the U.S. anymore with this nonsense because I, I, I don't think I could uh, handle it. I mean, even before, as I was on my way out, it was starting to creep into in, into society, uh, but it hadn't really arrived yet. And um, I, I am glad it is not here, that's for sure. I think even Maya laughs at this woke stuff, you know, if these people getting all... You know, like the feminists, super feminists, and the, um, the just, crazy relationship of men. Yes. Both men. Yes. Both yeah. gender. Yeah. Right. Just, <laughs> just nonsense. So that's not here, thankfully, and I really haven't seen any signs of it. Um, not really. Not, none at all that I, I, I remember. No. Our sandwiches are coming here. So we're gonna eat. All right, we're back home now. We uh, got rained on as we uh, left. But the last thing I was gonna talk about as a flashback to the past in the Philippines is probably the negative side, and that is with the modernization, like simple things, like you might find it convenient back in your home country to do self-checkouts at the grocery store or cashiers with the, uh, you know, the uh, conveyor belt bringing all, all the groceries down. Um, the Philippines, for some reason, just hasn't caught up to a lot of that here. Maybe in some of the bigger cities, but so being back, uh, you know, reminded of when I was growing up, there's a lot of things that are still done in the ways of, you know, like a lot of things aren't even online yet here in the Philippines. Everything's done manually. Um, you walk around, you look at roads being constructed and it's, it's, even further back than the 80s it seems like they're like manual labor you know it's they're still digging ditches and uh doing road repairs with just you know uh, a big labor force of uh, guys with shovels you know instead of the heavy duty equipment so it's not all um great but uh for the most part i enjoyed uh immensely and i think most people finally look back at the past and say, you know what, things were so much better in the 70s, the 80s, or whatever time period you grew up in. And uh, coming out to the Philippines, I'm constantly reminded of that, uh, how things were when I, were a kid, when I was a kid. And uh, it reminds me of the Philippines, it really does. Uh, let me know what your first impressions were when you came to the Philippines for the first time. Was it like a blast of the past, you know, with the old music and the way things are done here and uh, a lot of rules that they don't follow uh, that we do in the West currently, but we didn't maybe in the 80s and stuff. But let me know what you uh, think down in the comments. And guys, if you wanna help support my channel, uh, you can join my YouTube membership by clicking the join button under any of my YouTube videos or if you want over 80 additional videos that are not on YouTube, check out my patreon.com slash geo in the Philippines, select a membership, and you can help support me that way. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.